extreme sign. All right, so what we're gonna do is some extreme chemistry right now. So what I got is some marshmallows. Basically, it's full. And what we're gonna do is some really cool stuff on it. We're gonna expand it. We're gonna simulate the space program. This is what happens when an astronaut goes up into space. This is what the chemist had to figure out when they sent an astronaut into extreme environments. So what they do, they had to insulate the spacesuits. They use a foam. Foam has got air in it. The problem with that is the air inside the foam really likes to run away in a vacuum of space. So how do you get around that? Well, I'm gonna show you what happens when you put foam, or in this case, this marshmallow astronaut in space. So we're gonna put the dome on. You're gonna put that on. What we got over here is a sibling. He's gonna go into space, he's gonna stay on Earth, and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. You're gonna see this extreme transformation of that foam. All right, let's turn on the vacuum. All right, so it's going up into space. There we go. Look what's happening. He's already keeled over. This is pretty extreme. He's getting fatter and fatter. So what happens is right now, all the air that's trapped inside that foam, inside this marshmallow, is trying to get out. So it's pushing, pushing, and pushing. Now imagine if you're that astronaut inside the spacesuit who's being like crushed to death. And so at that point, it keeps on going, and going, and going. Now, what happens when he comes back down to Earth? Let's see what happens. Let's turn the vacuum on and put air back inside of it. I'm gonna open it up. It's all shriveled up. So that's pretty extreme right there. This is what happens when scientists had to figure out how to send someone to space to make him look like this rather than this. And that's pretty extreme chemistry.